Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel, and today I want to take you through the setup and operation of the WeldMax 164i. This machine offers a 40 amp plasma with 160 amp TIG and stick mode, DC only. For the wiring, once again I made a trip to Home Depot, I purchased the Levington 30 to 50 amp receptacle that's compatible with my shop, came in Black will be L1, white L2, and green for ground. Now for our gas routing. This right here is not a rubber plug. This is a push lock. You simply just take the hose and insert it in and give it a quick pull to make sure that it's in there. And then if you ever need to release it, you just push in on the push lock and pull out on your hose and you have your hose clean and clear. This is your standard setup for the moisture trap. We have the push lock installed on the back end. So in the plasma process, we would hook up compressed air. It'll run through the moisture trap and into the machine. For the TIG process, you would hook up the argon here, run through the moisture trap and into the machine. I prefer not to go through the moisture trap, so I'll show you the workaround that I did. Now you can see on the back side of the moisture trap I've installed a female quick disconnect and on the other side of the hose that's the gas inlet side I installed a male quick disconnect. So this will plug in and this would be the setup right here that I would use plug in compressed air for the plasma process and then when I want to do some TIG welding I simply just disconnect and then I would plug this into my argon regulator and now we're ready to go for the TIG process. The TIG torch comes with just about everything you need except for tungsten. The three choices of tungsten that I would use for this machine would be the 2% thoriated, the red top, 2% seriated, the gray in longevity brand or the orange international, or the 2% lanthanated, blue top. Let's build the torch. First we'll take our collet body and this just screws down in there. Then you'll select the appropriate size collet for the tungsten you're using. I have 16th so I put the 16th in there. And being that I have a longer stick there's a short top and there's a uh, tall long stem. So I'll select the long and I'll put that in. Get all this down. And then I have selected a number six cup for the job that I'm going to do. And that's building the torch. Now let's hook it up. Hooking up the torch is a snap. Goes in and twists to our gas outlet. We'll hook this up. It's a quick disconnect. Just pushes in. And then if we we're going to use our control for 2T mode, which would be on the torch trigger, we would select this. I'm going to opt for the foot pedal, which comes with the machine. Here we have our foot pedal. I have that hooked up to the control on the machine. Gives us a very nice progressive tunability for our weld. This is the plasma torch as it comes right out of the box. It does come with a nice little wire standoff. Puts you about 125 thousandths off the deck and it does come with a very nice bag of consumables. Now let's get the machine set up for the plasma torch. Once again we'll stick our torch in, give it a turn, we'll hook up our quick disconnect on our gas outlet, this pops in place, our control for the torch trigger, and then we have one more lead for the pilot arc. Now we're set up and ready to go. We'll add our ground cable and add air and we're ready to cut. We'll install the ground cable on the workpiece side. Give it a twist. And it's a very nice ground cable. Nice strong spring in it. Nice copper. So it'll give you a good ground. This little machine has a cut capability of a half inch. What I'm doing right here is I'm demonstrating quarter inch 2x2x253 two two wall 
And I'm just going to do a quick cut on it to show you how well it works. Nice clean little cut. Now for setting up the regulator. The little quarter inch hose that comes with this has to go over a quarter inch barb. You need to take a heat gun or something, a cigarette lighter, and get some heat into it, and then it'll just push right on. Only get it on about over the first two. That's it for the setup of the Weld Max 164i. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel, and I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.